2006 was our first main stage rock and ring. Kind of the lineup, I think it was, um, I think it was Trivium, Avenged, and then us or us and I can't remember. Those, those were the first three bands, you know, and those were the. Th it was us, Trivium, and Avenged as well. I did that Metallica gig, so it seemed to be this kind of pattern emerging during that time, and you know, all three of us are still doing what we do as well, you know. So it, it's amazing that. We've come up the last 10 years with certain bands and we're all still doing it and still relevant, you know, it's awesome. But yeah, I still remember that main stage slot, you know, I was kind of, you know, super nervous, super excited, kind of, um, you know, a, a bundle of emotions all into one, you know, they're, they're quite extreme, you know, quite extreme shows doing these things. You know, my life is really good, man. I'm super content and I'm a happy dad and, you know, I love what I do. So trying to challenge that into your music is no, not a good recipe for heavy metal, you know. So for me, it was just revisiting the days growing up, which wasn't so positive and wasn't so cool when I was like in my early teens in school, getting beat up a lot and picked on. And, you know, I was a victim of bullying like constantly. Um, so it was just kind of challenging kind of that, those kind of moments that affected me growing up emotionally and challenging, challenging that back into the music to make it super pissed off, you know. Yeah, so when my son was born, it just definitely, definitely did change me for the better. You know, I was never like super self-centered or selfish person, you know, but I did, like having him did make me look differently at life and how to go about things and, you know, just really evaluate what is important as much as kind of I love the band and stuff, you know, like family and friends and obviously my little one now is uh, take priority for everything and it just, just made me a better person really, you know, it just made me, like I said, evaluate life and just kind of, Everything I do now is to support him and make sure that his upbringing is, is badass, you know. Yeah, I, I remember losing losing the voice very well, you know. It was um, it was the end of the poison cycle in the UK. And I had problems for months leading up to that point. And I remember being on stage in Edinburgh on a headline show and like the first song came in, I opened my mouth and nothing was really coming out. And then after about three songs, we just kind of just pulled it, you know. And it was, it was, it was heartbreaking. It's like everything we'd worked for for nearly 10 years before the band got signed. And then supporting this debut record, which was blowing up around the world, you know, and just tr trying to capitalize on that and then not being able to do my job was just heartbreaking. I thought that that was it, you know, I really thought that it was done. So, yeah, it was super hard, but, you know, kind of regrouped, had a tonsillectomy to kind of get rid of the tonsils and all the infections that kept reoccurring and started from speech therapy up to vocal coaching and stuff like that. So, yeah, really dark time, a very dark time, you know, and that didn't go away till about, for about two and a half years. Yeah, it was, it was just kind of that. It's just more of a, a mental battle, really, you know, just kind of having the highest high of just supporting the poison and how well that did globally. You know, it's, it's, it was an incredible couple of years of, of my life and then it ended in such a crappy way. So it was more kind of a psychological battle. Like my confidence was, was shattered. I didn't want to get on stage, didn't want to do it anymore, you know, but just kind of the boys rallied around and family and friends, you know, you say, you know, you've got to get through this, you know. So we kind of, like I said, started at the bottom at kind of a speech therapy class. Because I couldn't project my voice more than about a meter in front of me. You know, if we were trying, if I was trying to talk to you right now and, and shout something to you, I couldn't do it. It was, it was the most bizarre feeling. You know, I could, I could speak, but then when I went to kind of, kind of push my voice to kind of throw it like a couple of meters in front, I couldn't do it. So then I had to start like blowing pieces of paper over and all this crap. It was just, it was insane, man. It was such a horrible time. Uh, on, on a show day, it's about a 30 minute warm up, about 40 minutes before stage. So about 40 minutes pre-show, I'll do like the, my warm ups. For the next 10 minutes, I kind of rest and then do another couple of little weird noises as we're going on stage and off we go. And usually that kind of does the job, you know, so kind of kind of found my little routine. I kind of stick to it. So 